Okay, I'm basically finished. We're almost finished this part. I just have a couple uh, sections or stripes to paint. Um, I've taped this area here. I'm just gonna show you quickly how to tape off these little sections. See this little arrow here? Um, it's such a sharp point that it's not easy to tape off. And I showed a little bit of this in the previous video, but what you can do right on, you put the blade right on that point there, and then you can just like slice it right in the middle of the shape, and then you can peel it off and then the rest of it will rip. So I have part of the point um, finished, and then I get the other side, line it up, exposing some of the graphite. And then I do my best to go on the other side. Oops. There we go. So I got that point masked off. Um, it's faster and easier when you can use your Exacto blade, just make sure you have a nice sharp blade. If it's a dull blade, it's just going to rip the tape. And it's not going to work the way you want. And then I put the other tape in, which is pretty simple. Exposing a little bit of the paint itself. Just a hairline. Oh, there we go. The hairline strip enough just to overlap with the new. There you go. And on this thing, I said before I to figure out what number I'm doing. So it's one, one, two, two. It's gonna be a pink three, I believe. Yeah, pink three. One, two, two. Yeah, pink three, sorry. I don't wanna make a mental error here. So it's pink three all around. Pretty simple. Got my brush. Also, changed my water. I was starting to clean my brush off and every time I took it out, it dried, it was a little crispy, um, stiff. And it just meant that there was too much paint still in the mixture. So I just finally cleaned it out and got some fresh water. All right, so this is Value number three. And as I'm painting, I'm just pulling in a direction. And I'm pulling out from the corners so it doesn't bunch up. Um, in those corners. Actually, I think I'm going to do this side because I got a lot of paint on my brush. So I'm working in those corners pretty good because sometimes you'll peel the, pay, pay, the tape off and you're like, oh man, I missed that whole section. Crud. So you want to work it in the corners good and then you can just pull pull down, pull up afterwards so it has a nice flat texture to it. That's good, I don't want to mess around with it anymore. Little tiny corners here. And even though this looks like a small spot, it's three little corners that you want to make sure you get. And I have the news on in the background if you can hear it. All right, so 
cover this up. If you notice your paint starting to stiff up a little bit, starting to dry, I could feel this was getting a little thicker. Uh, you might be able to put it in a Ziploc bag just to prevent air from getting in there because air will still get in there and air is what makes it dry. Um, even though you think you have it sealed, air will still get in there. All right, so um, I'm going to peel the tape off. Just turn the brush real good. And I will paint the last strip when this dries, which should be in about two or three minutes. Which is the exciting part about this. Um, so what I've done here, I've painted a section. I've taped off the whole section, meaning like just an area that I'm going to paint. Um, that way, all these lines are going to be crisp. All these lines are going to be crisp. I can even take these off now. Um, the only line I'm not going to take off is down here. There you go. You can see that where I masked off looks pretty good. Okay, um, I am going to wait for this to dry and I want to keep the video rolling until I paint that to show you the final look of this. But I can take this off because I'm finished painting all that and you kind of see how nice and clean this line is. Super important. I can take this side off too because I'm going to start. The next section I'm going to do is, is uh, these four sides here. And... When I'm close to finish that, I'll make another video. I'm going to leave this tape on the entire time. I mean, I could probably cut this section out and peel it off if I was anxious to see what it looked like. Um, It is fun revealing this in the end. Now, when these other um, values hit this edge, it's going to create a really cool plane shift. And that's probably going to be the most um, enjoying part peeling off are the sides. Right now, it just kind of has a flat look to it. Nothing exciting, but moving forward, that's always good. Notice I'm I'm pulling down uh, with my uh, finger here on the board so it doesn't pull up. Sometimes it helps prevent ripping, ripping of the paper. I'm just applying pressure where I'm pulling up in the opposite direction. Uh, I do not want to risk taping this yet. It just doesn't look like it's totally dry. Oh, huh. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. So then the last part, th this is going to be a number three um, green. And I think I'm going to three green here. So yeah, this is going to be a three green. It's going to get a little darker, so it's kind of nice where it goes from light to dark. And the way this design worked out, I had just enough stripes to utilize my value scales one through five. Because then here I can do, because um, I'm going to do two steps over on the other side. So this is one, one. Um, here, then this is going to be three, three, four, four, five, five. And then I can start to go to four four three three two two one one, and then back up to two two three three four four five five. Um, so all I needed was enough to create this plane shift here, and then the rest of it really didn't matter, and it kind of worked out for me. So I'm good to go. And 
And if you're unsure if it's dry and you don't want to push it, just let it dry a little longer. Don't want to regret doing something too early. And then having to redo it all over again. Sometimes it looks wet, but it's just shiny. Depends what kind of paint you have. Uh, number three. Make sure this is nice and dry. Now this green paint's been staying pretty wet, um, which is good. You wouldn't have to put this in a Ziploc bag, but the pink paint started to feel a little dry. Some paint dries faster than others. This yellow green paint dries pretty slow, so. I did say don't go back over into it, didn't I? When you're cleaning your brush too, don't just don't do it once, do it twice. Clean it there twice, maybe sometimes three times. Make sure it's dry. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little bit of a, where the paint sucks under and goes into the other strip. It happens a little bit there. I can fix that later. Don't worry about it now. You have all the paint mixed up. Um, what you do is you just get a piece of tape. You tape the other side and you spot um, treat it. I call it spot treat it. Um, you just kind of get that little, little section and then you peel the tape back up and it's like it never happened. Um, it's gonna happen. And then the next stage, again, I'm just gonna do these sides here. So after this dries, I'm gonna tape this up, tape, um, probably have to tape this each time I'll tape this side up and then I'll just start working my way over start work and then I'll do all four corners at the same time and before you know it that's done you only have the section to, to do left all right